In December of 1983, Commodore released the first full-color portable computer, the Executive 64, or more commonly, the SX-64. It retailed for $995, which today would be equivalent to around three grand. Weighing in at an arm stretching 23 pounds, the luggable SX-64 was from a class of computer that was a direct ancestor to the laptop. While marketed to business customers, the SX, at its core, was a Commodore 64, a machine not generally perceived to have an extensive business software library compared to its CPM and MS-DOS competitors of the day. truth is, the SX's 5-inch screen is pretty terrible for reading text, but it can handle most game graphics pretty nicely. Take that, Game Boy! And hey, if you want a pure Commodore experience on the go, and emulation isn't your game, the SX64 would like to help you break a sweat. While kind of hilarious by today's standards for serious computing, the SX64 sports a design language that is similar to the Plus 4 and early days black cased Commodore machines, but it is unique and very cool in its own way. Most importantly, it brought a two-tone color palette to the case with interesting tertiary electric blue highlights. Today I've decided to retire my cool-looking but terribly fragile see-through acrylic plexi-laser case that houses my awesome Ultimate 64 computer and migrate things over to a brand new SX64 inspired case. I'm also gonna give the keyboard a big time upgrade and use my spare mech board with Cherry MX yellow switches. By the time we're done, the entire computer will consist of entirely new components. When you do a build with one of these cases, you need to get keyboard stands if you aren't using parts from an original 64C computer. You can either 3D print your own or buy pre-made ones. I decided to also use some keycaps from Jim Drew's keycap campaigns. And while the SX64 had white and gray keycaps, I personally wanted to go darker. I 
also picked up a very cool dual color LED light from Core i64. One color is for power and the other for disc activity. You even get to pick the colors you want. I went with a red-green combo since all of my original Commodore computers have red power lights and many of the disk drives use green lights. Finally, let's not forget to put the sticker on the bottom to cover up one of the case's less attractive extrusion points. And there we have it, a 100% brand new Ultimate Elite Commodore 64 in the sexy style of the SX-64. The only thing it lacks is a monitor, but we can fix that. So remember guys, keep that Commodore love flowing, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Amiga Love.